Hi Jules, welcome back to part three of making the bat wing prop. So we now have a hardened piece of the wing. Now our next step, you're going to need some black napkins or black paper, whatever you choose, but I've chosen black napkins. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our pre-mixed Mod Podge and we're going to put glue onto this wing. the napkin to the wing and add Mod Podge to the top. This is going to be a short one because we've got to let this dry. This is just an old wedding napkin that James Lee found. I'll give us a black. Sorry if I'm out of frame. I'm just going to continue to put my podge down onto this. matter if it's straight or not because even if it does get wrinkles it's texture to the wing. You can use black tissue paper if you like as well for another option if you don't have napkins. Or you can even paint this. It's up to you. I'm using this because it's what I have on hand and I don't have a lot of black paint. Because the black paint is in use somewhere else. Alright, so I'm going to grab another napkin. I've got a whole stack of them right here. I have mixed this Mod Podge just a little bit thicker than the rest of the Mod Podge that I used because I want a hard surface. We're going to do this to both sides of this wing. Remember, napkins are, are very flimsy and tender to hard brush strokes. You will end up tearing the napkin if you're not very careful, so please be careful when applying these. if you go over because we're going to be cutting a shape out of this wing so don't worry if you go over and you still have some that's showing 
it does not matter we're going to end up cutting that off anyway Have that side done. Let's move over to the other side. And we're going to add the neck in again to this side. Now I have about three layers of the paper on here that I did off camera. And this is the encyclopedia, the old encyclopedia paper that I used to uh, put on here for another layer. In sections to put this on, please try, don't try and put it all on at once because you won't get a very good uh, laying down of the napkin. Let's work in small sections. As you can see, you can also uh, see the impressions from the napkin coming down. So try not to be too careful with it because you want the the wrinkles and things on here uh, to give you a little bit of texture for your uh, for your wing. So you will have holes. See what I mean? Not being careful. You will have holes, but thank goodness we have extra napkins to fix those boo-boos.
one. As you can see, you can see the wire showing through. That way it gives you a little bit of dimension. to uh, see the back wings. I'm going to take a piece of this tissue paper or napkin and I'm going to roll it up. When I roll it up, I'm going to twist it. Now, I'm going to place it on the section where the wire is here. Place some glue on top of this. And then I'm going to take another piece of this black napkin here. And we're going to roll another section which gives the, uh, another look of the veiny part of the wing. Okay, 
twist that down, but we're going to trim it down to where the end of that wire is, which is right here. And we're going to rip that. To keep that, we're going to use that on the next one. So we're going to paste this down again. Bend. Now we have that down. We are going to take a piece of the napkin and we're going to go over top. And since it's a piece of lawn mower sounds, we have an extra neighbor that's not very hard, so it's skin some lawn mower sounds. So we're going to go over top of that vein that I just placed down, or bone, back bone wing. I guess that's what you call it, which gives that the pronounced wing shape for the bone. You don't need much uh, tissue paper. All you need is enough to cover the vein or the bone area. on top of it. because we don't have as much definition there as with the other spots, so I'm going to place another piece there. see the bones of the back. And you're going to do that for both wings that you have made. I have another one. just isn't completely dry yet. We still have another one. And that will be done off camera. It's, it's hard. There's about three to four layers of your paper on this. So this is what your back wing should look like. This is the back side of the wing. And here 
here's the front side of your wing. Alrighty guys, next time you see me, this will be dry and we'll be ready for our next step, which is the making of the body of this wing. And then maybe some paint, not sure. So guys, stay tuned for the next session and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!